Welcome to Inspire for Travel. My name is Wemba Imani and today I'm joining you outside the John Magofuli bus terminal. Now I'm super excited to really share this valuable content with you today because for those who will be visiting Tanzania, this is one of the places you should definitely know about. Now, for those who would like to travel to other cities, regions in Tanzania from the city of Dar es Salaam, this is a station you should certainly know about. Now, it was, it was started operating in November 2020, but it was officially opened by the late President, His Excellency John Pombe Magofuli on the 24th of February 2001. Now, over 3,000 buses pass through this terminal every day. And these are the intercity buses. So if you're going to Tanga, Mkoa, Mwanza, Mbea, different regions in Tanzania, you can get an intercity bus at this bus terminal. Also, if you're going to other countries, neighboring countries, for example, Kenya, Congo, and these places like Uganda, you can also get a bus from this terminal. So whenever you are in Dar es Salaam, you may, you know, a lot of people, they get a visa and it runs out within 90 days and you may have to travel to another country. You can get a bus if you're on a certain budget from this bus terminal to another neighboring country. So this content will stand uh, the test of time. It is very valuable and I'm happy to share it with you today. I'll walk around and see what the vibe is like at this place and give you a good visual of this place here at the John Magafuli bus terminal. Okay, so if you're new around here, I'll appreciate it if you can like the video, share it with your friends, and consider subscribing to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe. Let's explore the John Magofuli bus terminal. Karibuni, Tanzania. So once you get off your Uber, your Boda Boda, or whatever method of transport you will be coming here with, this is what the outside area looks like, okay? So most likely you'll be walking towards the entrance that I am walking right now. Now this is what the station looks like from the outside. Now in Swahili it says Kituo Kiku Mabasi Cha Magafuli. Okay, so the Magafuli bus terminal. That's the official name, the Magafuli bus terminal in English. So, you know, off the back you'll notice there's a barber shop there is places where you can eat you can get some food and different things like that there's also places where you can also if you have impesa you can withdraw cash from your impesa and things like that so it's quite a convenient place it's not just only buses you also have various convenience stores here which you can definitely use their service if you need to so let me just give you some advice when you're coming here you'll notice that a lot of people will approach you before you actually enter the bus terminal and they'll be asking you if you need a ticket or anything like that my advice to you will be of course you know just kindly tell them you're not interested and go inside to the third floor the third floor of this building and that's where you will find all the offices of the various buses here in the terminal okay so you can see there are a lot of people waiting outside waiting outside and they'll usually uh, talk to and approach you to buy a ticket but of course they're probably looking for commission but just to be on the safe side I will advise you to go inside to the third floor and purchase your ticket from one of the offices upstairs So let me just give you a quick little tour before we go upstairs so you get an idea what you can expect to see outside. Conveniently you can see there are bajajis waiting so you can make use of bajajis and further down you will also find border borders and that's motorbikes in, in the event that you need a ride or anything you need to go anywhere else you can also make use of their services in here. So like I was saying, there's a barber shop. There's somewhere you can eat. You can see that here. There's also a health clinic upstairs also. There's also Fundi Simu, 
Now in Swahili, that's like a specialist for mobile phones. So if you need maybe a, a charger, phone case or anything like that, in the event that you do, you can also get that here. And there's also a Wakala where you can go in and you can withdraw money from your M-Pesa and different things like that. So it's really nice to know that these services are available in the event that you visit this bus station. Now inside you will also find more uh, you know, shops and stalls that sells various food, drinks and different things while you wait for your bus. So for example, you may come here early and um, you're in the waiting area, you can purchase something you know, while you wait. So all of that is really available. So I'm really impressed with the work that has been done at this bus station. It's very much sophisticated and the facilities are very excellent, which is highly appreciated for people who are visiting. But of course, you would just have to be cautious in who you're buying your ticket from, especially those who may be waiting outside to sell you something. So just be mindful of that when you do visit here. Apart from that, definitely the place is well organized, sophisticated, and I and I really like that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to try to walk inside to just to show you what inside look like and perhaps go to the third floor so you can see where all the bus offices are. Now the bus offices are the places where you can go and buy your tickets to whatever region you're going to. So let's I'll see you inside. So guys, literally I'm in the seating area of the bus station. You can see people behind me, people on the side of me. People are waiting for their bus to go to wherever they're going to. So this is on the second floor. You will find the seating area and there are various source stores around where you can get something to eat. You can even buy souvenirs. You can buy some African fabric and different things like that. So this is the second floor of the bus station. Let me walk around a little bit so you can see what it's like here in the seating area section and then after that what we're going to do we're going to go upstairs to the third floor and that is where the offices for the buses are where you can buy a ticket so these are like the shops i was telling you about that you can actually see you can see right in front of me right there that's like african fabric and also some other types of clothes for children So if we walk if, if we walk down just a little bit, you can see on the right there's actually a small calf, okay, and it's called Shakira calf, and you can buy little snacks and different things like that right there. We also have like a place right here where you can charge your mobile phones. Definitely it's very important for you to have a power pack when you travel here otherwise you'll have to use one of those services and charge your mobile phones you can so this is pretty much the vibe here on the second floor in terms of what you can buy while you wait for your buses so it's definitely convenient for you while you wait you can buy some things here so this is the vibe here at the bus station very wide it's very clean very orderly it's a nice calm vibe here guys I'm really liking how everything is, is set up here so when you do come here when you're traveling to other places you can see what you are expected to experience when you do come here so what I'm what I'm gonna do right now to the left you can see there's a flight of stairs stairs i'm gonna go up the stairs and literally that will take me to the offices of where i can purchase my ticket and this is just a few more stores that are in the on the second floor so this is what you will see So when you come up here, one of the things you're going to experience is 
you're going to get a lot of people calling out to you immediately, like wanting to know, do you need a bus? Do you need a ticket? Because it can be really confusing up here. That, that, that's what I might have to say to you. Be, be prepared because there are some, there are so much different companies that are up here and they're all calling out to you depending on where you're going. So for example, if you're going to places like Tanga, a very good bus company, a bus service is like Ratco. Another very good company is Shababi. Now these ones have what you call like luxury buses, which is, <laughs> which is good. So this is inside of the bus terminal again, but we're on the third floor and this is where you'll find all the various offices to get the bus to various regions and other neighboring countries of Tanzania. So you can go to Mwanza, you can go to Tabora, you can go to Bokoba, you can go to Tanga, and these are all the various offices that you will find when you come up here to the third floor. So always try to get to the third floor and then you make a decision and decide on what buses you can get. One of the things I'll say to you of the back, one of the companies I use is Radco. Uh, Radco, they're a bit of a luxury buses and they operate from Dar es Salaam to the Tanga region, okay, to the Tanga region. So if you ever, you know, go into Tanga, it's about five hours away from Dar es Salaam, you can always make use of the Radco buses they're quite excellent very good services so you can make use of them whenever you're in Dar es Salaam another bus service which is very good is another company called Shababi and they're quite good they go to various regions in Tanzania and they also travel to Kenya and they go all the way up to Nairobi so you can see these are all the buses here people send packages different things like that so when you're traveling always look for like the luxury coaches especially if you're you know you don't want to deal with you know for space purposes and you want to have a comfortable ride when you're traveling you can always pay the extra fee and you get a more luxury bus and enjoy more leg room when you're traveling so this is what you expect to see on the third floor when you come up here and this is where you should come up to and get your ticket so these are all the buses these are what the offices look like and do do feel free to be willing to ask around and talk to various companies you know don't just go for one straight off the back you can always weigh up your op options don't feel pressured into making a decision that you do to do you know it's always good to have a co conversation negotiate and if you feel that you know your spirit or not going with how a certain bus company is speaking to you you can always speak to another company upstairs here there are many companies this is what outside of the bus station look like this is where you will board your buses when you're going to various countries and regions here in Tanzania so this is what it looks like I do trust that you have enjoyed today's content at the Magufuli bus terminal so just to recap, we've seen what's available here at the bus terminal, you've seen the various buses that you can get, and you have come to an understanding that you, from this bus terminal, you can travel to other regions in Tanzania and other neighboring countries. So I do appreciate your time, and thank you so much for always coming back and watch my videos. It is highly appreciated. It's a bit of a short one today, but I will be doing more content to tell you more about various buses and companies here in Tanzania so stay tuned for that thank you so much for watching my videos my name is Wemba Imani and do consider liking sharing and subscribing to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe